up. This is the police. Yes? Waldo. Thornycroft? Yes? You haven't made any payment on your car for three months and I'm here to seize it, sir. I also have a court order forbidding you to use your credit card in the future. Well, is there a chance to get my car back? No, you've lost your lease and now you have bad credit records. Can't get credit cards, can't buy a car, can't rent a car, can't rent an apartment, can't use checks. You better hold on to your job. Have a nice day. Thornycroft, come into my office, please. You've just been replaced, McCormick. What? Yeah, well, you too, you bastard. You slime, you worm. You called me, sir? Come in, have a seat. I have some good news for you, Thornycroft. I just fired McCormick. His position is vacant. How about it? Are you saying that I could possibly consider trying to understand that I could perhaps contemplate to, uh, to, uh... Well, is it yes or no? It's, it's yes, of course, Mr. Wilkenrat. Good. Here's a list of your duties. Now, I want you to memorize that. Now, study that carefully, and if you have any questions, let me know. Well, you can go now. Yeah, hello, Lauren. You come in here, please. We need to talk about these contracts. Marcus. About those contracts. You know they're fraudulent. Don't worry. These people are so stupid, they'll never find out. But we can't do that. It's illegal and dishonest. Dishonest. That word no longer exists in the American language. And you signed those contracts, too. But how could I know you lied to me? Enough! You wanted to see some profit, so let me run this business my way! But... Enough! And I don't want to hear what your poor father would have done. And don't you try anything against me, because if you do, I will take this business right down. And you will go with it.
What are you doing here? I, I, You're looking I, for something, aren't you? No. Are you spying I, on me for my wife? No, no. You're not going to get away with this. But I, I, I was. You're I, fired. I, Go on. You're fired. Get out. Get. Get. Waldo, please wait. Wait a minute. Will you go on and get out of here? Go on! And what if I don't, huh? Ah! Yes, Thompson. A man of courage and character. That's the kind of man I want my daughter to marry, not some klutz. He doesn't have to be rich, but he has to be well-educated, not some mumbling, babbling slob. And if he marries Rosabelle, I'll give him a million dollars. Oh, and he has to be honest, Thompson. Honest, you hear? There are just too many crooks out there. This young man just saved my life. Letter for you, Thornycroft. Mr. Thornycroft? Oh, hello, Jennifer. Are you eating your lunch already? Oh, no, it's... <laughs> the president would like to see you in his office immediately. What? Me? Yes, come in. Uh, good morning, Mr. Delorier. Wilbur, do come in. Waldo, sir. Waldo Thornycroft. Oh, <laughs> a Waldo, yes. <clears throat> I've been uh, looking at your records. You've been with us for almost two weeks. And I think you deserve a little promotion. It's something we should talk about over dinner sometime. I've been telling my family what a fine young man you are. And they're all eager to meet you. Perhaps you could come over and have dinner with us tonight. I, I, I could, yes. Good. I want you to meet my daughter, Rosabelle. Uh, Jennifer will give you my address. Till tonight, then. And uh, oh, take the rest of the day off. Tonight, uh...
Forgive me. Dinner is served. This wine is excellent, Demetrius. I know. I mean, thank you, Mr. Laurier. Do you have any family here, Mr. Thornycroft? No. My parents died in a car accident when I was 15 years old. I wanted to live with my uncle's family, but they all perished in a fire. So I went to live uh, with my grandparents until they committed suicide. Then I was on my own, but my childhood was a very happy one. Tell me, Waldo, what do you think of our daughter, Rosabelle? Her rubato is firm, her bow stroke vivacious, and her intonation right up the mark. Please forgive this unceremonious incursion. We forgive you. But what's the idea of barging in like this? Miss Rosabel, I cannot wait any longer. I need your answer now. But I haven't made up my mind yet, Mr. Shrinkham. But I thought this matter had been settled between our two families a long time ago. Well, I do have my word to say in all this, may I remind you? I do have some esteem for you, Mr. Shrinkham, but I also wish to consider Mr. Thornycroft here, who is also... I see. You should learn, Mr. Thornycrap, that my aristocratic descent does not allow me to be insulted by such a nincompoop as your appearance denotes you to be. Mr. Shrinkham, what an opprobrious epithet. Yes, Wilbur. Knock it off. Very well. But we shall meet again, Mr. Corny Crop. My card! Pistol, knife, sword, the choice is yours. Dagger, musketoon, I know them all. Scimitar, do simmer! Don't be alarmed, Mr. Thornycroft. Mr. Shrinkham is rather harmless. Duels nowadays are illegal. And quite frankly, unheard of. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. Come in. Come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Cigar? Lollipop? No, thank you, Mr. Shringham. I came here to explain to you that my presence last night at the Delorier's had nothing to do with Miss Rosabel, and I have no intention of standing between you and her. You see, I'm only an employee... You mean... You don't intend to marry Miss Rosabel? Marry her? That was never discussed. I, I'm sure that it must be some misunderstanding. Excuse me. Hello? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. Yes, yes. Ah. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, then, the matter is settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Come again. Come again. Certainly. Certainly. Yes, Mr. Thornycroft. You look concerned. I got your message. I ran as fast as I could. You ran all the way from the office? Well, you said you wanted to see me urgently? Yes, indeed. And you said you'd been attacked by a belligerent man. I said I wanted to have a talk with an intelligent man. You. Well, let's have a seat. My father told you, I'm sure, 
that the man I will choose for a husband will receive a million dollars. No, I, uh... You mean my father didn't tell you? No. You mean you would have married me just for me? Oh, Mr. Thornycrap, my sincere congratulations. You'll have to forgive Roosevelt. She went upstairs to call all her friends to tell them the good news. She's very fond of you, Waldo. May I call you, Waldo? Why don't you take a little walk in the garden and I'll go talk to Roosevelt. Good morning, Miss Jennifer. Good morning, Lucien. Listen, my brother spent the night here. He's still asleep, so try not to wake him and stay away from the bedroom, okay? Okay. I wake him after he go. Very good. I have to go now. I'll see you Wednesday. Goodbye, Miss Jennifer.
Yes? You still asleep, monsieur? I... I... I don't think so. I made coffee for you. You are a very handsome man. You need something. You ask Lucien. Yes, uh, uh, Lucien. Something I can do for you now? Well, I would like to ask you something. Yes? It's about you and I here. You and I? Here? You see, I have a tendency to lose my faculties when I am inebriated. Oh, you're not inebriated with me. You loosen up. Lucien wants to help you. Oh, the door. You stay here. I come back. Well, I'm afraid I have to leave. No, no. You stay here. I come back. Wait. I, I need my pants. Open up. Open up or I'm coming out. Hello. My name is Mrs. Klotzenmeyer. Do you know that Jesus Christ died for you? For me? Oh, please don't tell Miss Jennifer. My dear woman, if you have an income of above 25000 I would like to have a word with you. But I am very busy in the house. Well, I cannot abandon you. Perhaps if you would make a small donation that would contribute to the salvation of your soul and to the advantage of the human race. But I... Thank you. Good morning, Waldo. Oh, good morning, uh, 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 Jennifer. Hey, hey! Great guns!
Mr. Thornycroft, I'm Dr. Suzal. How do you do? Quite miserably. I suffer from postprandial pyrosis when I retroflex, and ambulating on my plantar gives me a terrible zygomatic priority. What does the X-ray say? Well, let's see. Oh, my God. What is it? Excuse me for a moment. Poor man. Are you in pain? Not really. I see. Your eyes won't believe your ears. What? Cancer of the pancreas. Oh, no. Come back next week. I will try to heal you. Here, take this before lunch. Yes, yes. Have a nice day. Again? You are spying on me, aren't you? I warn you, Thornycroft. If I catch you again, I'm going to kill you. You would? So you do cheat on your wife, Marcus Rogan Rat. You cheat a quirk and 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 a slogging ruffian. <laughs> <laughs> you mistress, she looks like a 
trolloping flagpole. <laughs> Lose hope, Lauren. Things will straighten up. You'll see. That poor idiot. I can only picture his face right now. <laughs>
No, I'm sorry. Mr. Roganrod is in Los Angeles today. He won't be back until tomorrow at noon. Yes, in Los Angeles. Yes, tomorrow at noon. Yes, he's staying there overnight. Would you like me to have him call you when he returns? No, thank you. I will call back. Goodbye. death will be. Why not drive off a cliff and put an end to all of this in an instant? Now, I'm sitting in this fancy restaurant with my deceased wife. Oh, she's deceased now, but she was still alive then. <laughs> my parents were madly in love, but not with each other. Okay, here's your money. Now, remember, I open the bedroom door and you stay right behind me. I take the pictures, I give you the camera, and you run outside as fast as you can and bring it to this address, okay? I give you the car keys too. All right, but I'd much rather stay outside of the house. But what's the point? I need someone to go inside with me. Oh. All right, but maybe I can help you from outside. I need a tool. You wait for me here. Hey, quick, 
Someone's coming. Come back here. Come on. Close the door. Going together, get it? Okay, follow me. You all right? You look pale. The flashlight is dead, but I found this candle. This time you've done it! Get out of here, out of my sight! All right, if that's the way you take it, I'll go. But if you'd have listened to me in the first place, I would have been outside the whole time. Oh, shut up! You don't have more brains than a cucumber! This is how you treat me after I save your life? Without me, you'd be a shapeless, repulsive mass buried underwater by now! I heard a shot. Is everything all right? We're having a party. Music? Firecrackers? Won't you come in? Oh, no, thank you. Well, good night. It's all right. They're just having a party. I'll be back from the office in a couple of hours. You? You cheat on your wife and you're a swindler, too. I took some pictures of you and your mistress, Catherine Baldwig. I know about your meetings at our house on Northwood Drive. I also know about your illegal contracts and some other things about you. And I could ruin your life, Marcus Rogan Rat. What do you want? I want you out of this business and out of Lauren's life. Are you crazy? If I have to get out of this business, I'll sink it with me. Very well. You give me no choice. 
I'm going to kill you. Wait a minute. I'll give you what you want. I have a lot of money here. How much do you want? Money means nothing to me, Marcus. I have a terminal disease, and after I kill you, I'll kill myself. All right, I'll do what you want. Good, you've got some paper? Now take a pen. No, not that one. The other one. Under the newspapers over there. What? Under those newspapers. Get it. Spokesman declined to reveal the terms of the settlement. Problems that have plagued the region. And in business news, still no trace of missing executive Marcus Roganrat, who disappeared last month with most of his company's assets. While police continue to investigate rumors that he fled to South America, his wife, Lauren Whitney, has filed for divorce. In spite of her company's financial difficulties, Ms. Whitney refuses to file for bankruptcy, insisting she can save the company her father founded 34 years ago. Turning now to sports. Congratulations. We were right. And we now have some good, uh... Some good clues. We checked all the hospitals, and indeed, on the night of April 23rd, a man with a gunshot wound was brought to San Francisco General by, uh... A taxi driver. The wounded man told the doctors that he had tried to kill himself because he had a... A, a terminal disease, but the next day, when he learned he had no disease whatsoever, he disappeared, leaving only a... Uh... A false identity. Now he's our man, and we're going to find out who he is. And where he is. What? A Cadillac? Yeah, that's hot stuff, yeah. Bring it on down, I'll give you some good cash for it.
！阿伟啊，快啲出来，死仆街！一识佢俾天地冇得嚟攀入去啦！你敢驳嘴，杀死你啊！杀！Here's Thompson, rich, someone with a comfortable bank account, someone who won't be marrying Rosabel just for her money. But where on earth can I find a rich man in this town who's not a lawyer or a car mechanic? Finally lost some weight, huh? My, what a doorbell you have. I've never heard anything so loud. How are you, Waldo? I've been looking for a chance to talk to you. Mr. Delorier? I hope I'm not disturbing you. I simply wanted to congratulate you on your success. My success? Yes. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Are you here to see me? Yes. Well, in fact, Waldo, I wanted to ask you something. But I'm disturbing you. Not at all. Would you like to come in for a few minutes? Another time, perhaps. I simply wanted to explain to you that... No. Actually, I came to make an appointment for something I wish to discuss with you. But why not now? Please come in. Very well, then. I'll go straight to the point. It's about my daughter, Rosabelle. You see, she's still very fond of you, and we're willing to forget this regrettable incident. Of course. And, uh... Oh, I suddenly remember something. You think you could possibly drive me downtown right away? Maybe we can continue this discussion on our way. Beautiful house.
Waldo, how are you? Not well. I mean, uh, pretty, pretty all right. This is Archibald Prigston, a friend and associate. A mess? A mess. An associate, <laughs> yes. And who are you? This is Waldo Thornycroft, who used to work with us. Archibald and I are going to the Amerasian Cafe for a glass of wine. Would you like to join us? But my dear, Mr. Thora, Thori might be quite busy today. No, not at all. I, I'd be glad to come, Lauren. It was very nice seeing you again, Waldo. You too, Lauren. I, uh, I wanted to tell you, um, uh, I, uh, um, that, uh, that, um, um, that, uh, things will straighten up. You'll see. What did you say? Those words you said just now. I heard them once in a church. It was just before Marcus disappeared. Well, it could be an omen. Maybe this time your friend Brixton will disappear. Forgive me. Terrible nightmare. Robbers? Burglars. Heavens! I've called the police. Stay in your room. Sir, 
Surrender, or I shall depress this trigger with a quick and decisive action for which I am famous. Oh, Lauren, I have to leave. An emergency. My mother died. But you told me she died eight years ago. Well, I, uh, you see, it, it's, I... It's all right, Archibald. If you wish to leave, you don't have to give me any explanation. It's that wealthy friend of yours, that jeweler. Oh, he very generously offered me an incredibly beautiful... Well, I mean, he begged me to leave you alone. What friend are you referring to? It's that fellow Thor, Thorn, Thorny. Well, I realized he must love you very much. Waldo Thornycroft? That's right, Waldo Thornycroft. But we're still not sure why Rogan Rat shot him. Blackmail? Extortion? Abduction? Contortion? But what could a dying man possibly want? We think that Thornycroft in a desperate gesture of self-sacrifice, tried to incriminate Rogenrath. To force him to leave town, or even the country. And he might have done it for you, Lauren. Where can I find him? Thornycroft? We don't know. And we may never find him. But we'll keep an eye open. And the other one as well. Him. 